Well, this is the setting for our featured match today. Welcome to you. Martin Tyler here with Alan Smith. Our football coming up shortly for you from EFL League Two. Absolutely looking forward to this one. Yeah, thanks, Martin. Well, we've got a couple of teams here that their strengths are attacking, no doubt about it. So I'm sure they'll be going at each other very quickly. They've been a high-scoring team throughout the season, haven't they? And there's no question that they're a very good watch. We're delighted to be here to watch them again today. Well, we should expect goals because this team has got some really good strikers who are banging form. And this is today's starting lineup for the home team. So, Alan, 4 4 2. Yeah, I think it looks that way, Martin. Yes, it's the conventional shape, it's the one that the manager prefers. Thank you. Have a look now at the lineup for the visiting team. Looking at the lineup, he's got all the components in place, hasn't he? The manager for the pressing style of play has been a feature of his team. Yep, and uh, many an opponent has found it difficult to cope with. If your touch isn't spot on against this aggressive type of closing down, you're going to lose it in dangerous areas. Intercepted well. Taylor. I think it was a foul. The referee straight away has blown for it. Well, sometimes you get the benefit of a doubt early in the game. Maybe not as much as happened uh, years and years ago. But there's no messing about from the referee here. He's seen something he doesn't like. Yellow card early in the game. Yeah, I think the nature of the challenge didn't give the ref too much chuck. Gonna try his luck. Powerful drive. Close enough to suggest. Have another go, son. Yeah, strong shot. I think the keeper saw it coming all the way, though. He's made the interception. Guided through. Going forward well. Shot blocked here. He's put in the corner. There's still danger here after this half clearance. Keeping an eye on events elsewhere is Alan McAnally, as usual. Alan, what's happening in your game? It's a goal. He might have put his teammate in here. Can he set himself now? Keeper did well to reach it, but he couldn't kick. The coach promised a fast start. And look what's happened. You've seen that goal, and it's really been coming right from the kickoff. This is certainly a poacher's effort, the way he's just latched onto it quickly, the way he's got there ahead of the defenders. So the first goal, it's 1-0. Goal for Walsall, number Well, apologies eight. for interrupting Alan McAnally there, but I can confirm the visiting team did score in that game, and they now lead by that goal, 1-0. Slip past his man now. Maybe he'll cross it here. He had to go for that and take the risks, but he's got away with the, the ball and no penalty. Will Darren Bentley please meet your wife at the ticket office? Got his foot in to cut out the pass. Had a go! He's done well to keep that out. It'll be a corner. In goes the corner. Good header back into the danger area. Hasn't quite got it as he wanted, Alan, has he? No. Next time, maybe he'll take a touch. Taylor. Lee Martin. Oh. 
Still searching for an equaliser. There's some good interplay here. Alan McAnally wants to join us now. He's got a goal to tell us about. It's a goal for the home team. 25 minutes played. 1 0. Thanks, Alan. Here's Taylor. He's given it away. Well, suddenly they could be on the counter attack. Gordon. It's a good play to uh, get a foot in and intercept. Lee Martin. Gets the ball out wide with time to assess the situation. Hosts can't quite get hold of the ball. But what you would say about this team is the way that they've used the possession so ruthlessly at times. It's been a joy to watch textbook stuff from them. They're looking good when they attack. They bring them level. Hasn't held it, the goalkeeper. Intercepted well. Got to be. There's been a goal elsewhere. Alan McAnally's got news of that. It's a goal for the home team. 37 minutes played. 1-0. That's Alan. Guided through. Needs to stay cool now. Gonna try one now. And he scored! Well, what a lovely through ball that was, Martin. Perfectly weighted and beautifully finished. Restarting at 2-0. Apologies to Alan McAnally for actually intervening there. Let me confirm that the home team have scored in that game and they now lead by that goal, 1-0. Striding forward purposefully. His teammates have recognised the potential of this attack. Great place to win it back. Referee has blown and he's given the free kick. They could be in behind the back line. It's a good hit. Goalkeeper's done well. Guthrie. Good interception. Well, that's half time and 2 0. And here we go, the referee's blown his whistle, and we're off for the second half. Couldn't keep it in play, it's gone out for a throw. Goal news from Northampton. It's a goal for Northampton Town, 49 minutes played, 1-1. One, one. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McAnally, thanks Alan. Guthrie. That's a great interception. to stretch the opposition using the wider areas here chance to get the ball in the box surely he's done well to block that pulls it back now pass threaded through time to size up the situation in front of goal he's in now and there it is It's a classic example of the attacker being on his toes, the defenders trying to react and they're too late.
It's turning out to be an embarrassing scoreline, really, as we're underway again. Sweeney. It's going to be a substitution here for the home side. Well, this could be dangerous in a wide position. Well, then they come, they're piling into the middle. Put away, but not out of harm's way. Looking for goal now. It's bounced back into play from the bar. And there's the interception. Chance for the cross. And the ball glued to his boots, it seems. Excellent work. And he's got his block in, and the cross doesn't get into the middle. Well, Alan, here's the substitution now. Well, he's done his bit. He got the goal that put his team in the lead. Can they hold that lead? Good stretch by the goalkeeper to push that away from danger. He's got the option to get in across now. Good defensive clearance there. Penalty at Swindon. It's a penalty for the visitors. He's put the ball down on the spot. He steps up to take it. It's a goal. It's been scored by George Williams. 72 minutes played. 2-1. Well, many thanks. Alan McAnally keeping us up to date as usual. It goes out wide again. He's got a chance to cross. It comes out off the goalkeeper. Elsewhere, there's been a penalty awarded. Alan McAnally has the details. It's a penalty for the home team. A slight delay as the ref clears the defenders. Up he steps. It's hit. Trying to steer it through. And the referee looks to his assistant, who's got the flag up. It's offside. It's a change here, and I think it might be a tactical one. Now the countdown is to ten minutes left. Here's Taylor. News of a goal from Cheltenham. It's a third goal for Port Vale. Seven minutes remain. 3 1. Well, right on the spot there for that story, Alan McAnally, of course. Here's Williams. Here's the chance to get in the cross. Can he pick somebody out with this pullback? Not really away from the threat here. Well, maybe the counter attack is on here. Holden. Gordon. Please give a round of applause for the man of the match, number eight, Liam Kinsella. Now the shot! It's another one for them. They go further in front and they are full value for this position. It's another late goal to emphasise the gulf between the two sides today. Yeah, and it's been that type of match. I think everybody out there, the strikers particularly, want to increase the goal tallies and they've done it. A little surprising that it is as one-sided as this late in the game, but the team leading deserve the margin of what's going to be a very comfortable victory. Just one minute left on the clock. Sadler gives it away. Striding forward purposefully. Final whistle. 